Understanding room count, the key to home value. Do you enjoy home makeover shows as much as I do? One of the first things they bring up is room count. But what is a room count exactly? And why is it crucial? Let's get our hands dirty and find out. Why room count matters. So, why care about room count? Well, it affects your home value. More bedrooms and bathrooms mean more worth. But the number of rooms also influences how user-friendly and comfortable your home is. Think about this. If you're part of a five-member family, you're likely not house hunting for a one- or two-bedroom place. Defining room count. Before we move forward, let's clarify what a room count is. In a nutshell, it's the tally of all usable rooms in a house counted for its valuation. These are your bedrooms, bathrooms, living and dining rooms, and the kitchen. Bedrooms. Bedrooms come with a set of specific requirements, thanks to the International Residential Code, IRC. They need to be at least 70 square feet, no less than 7 feet in any one direction, with an emergency exit, a minimum 7 feet high ceiling, and a door to the rest of the house. Bathrooms. Bathrooms divide into full baths and half baths. A room with a toilet and sink qualifies as a half bath. If it includes a bathtub or shower, it's a full bath. However, size requirements might differ based on your location. Kitchens. Kitchens have a flexible definition. They need enough space for appliances like fridges, ovens, or air fryers. But the layout and size aren't strictly regulated. Living and dining rooms. Living and dining rooms come with a relaxed set of rules. To count, living rooms need a separate entrance and enough space for seating. In some places, they even need a fireplace. A dining room counts if it's separate from the kitchen and living room. In some scenarios, it needs a formal entrance or a unique layout or size. Be sure to check with your local realtor on this one. Other spaces. What about basements, attics, or garages? I hear you ask. Good point. But they don't usually count as they're not considered living spaces and don't add to the home's square footage. This brings us to the difference between room count and square footage. Room count versus square footage. Remember, room count and square footage aren't the same. Room count calculates habitable rooms. Square footage, however, measures your home's actual space. They both play a role in home evaluation, but measure different things. However, they are connected. Like, a bedroom needs a certain square footage to count. So, consider these two metrics together. Factors influencing room count. Zoning rules, building codes, and renovations can alter room count accuracy. For instance, an unpermitted extra bedroom might not count officially. Zoning regulations and building codes. Although it's a dry subject, it's crucial to know local regulations and codes. They dictate room sizes and arrangements that affect your room count. This applies to bedrooms and other living spaces. Renovations. Imagine a home with a remodeled bonus room. Although they can make pleasant spaces, they might not add to the room count. Definition of room. Not all rooms are equal. Different agents might have varying definitions of a room. A home office might not count as a bedroom even if you could sleep in it. Functionality and home layout. Consider open floor plans. They might have fewer rooms than a traditional layout. If your living and dining rooms have no divider, the room count will be less. But don't worry, homes with fewer rooms due to open floor plans can still hold their value, location, and market demand. Let's not forget about location. In some areas, a greater room count can increase demand and value. In others, homes with fewer rooms might be more popular. Conclusion. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide to room count. When buying or selling a home, understanding room count is vital to assess your home's value and comfort. Just remember, room count is a crucial piece of the real estate puzzle, but it's not the only one, so make sure you don't overlook it. Thank you for joining us in exploring Understanding Room Count, the Key to Home Value. For more blog posts, please visit housenotebook.com.